Welcome, we're going to take a look at changing the oil on our 1.3 multi-jet diesel engine. We'll begin by jacking the car and securing safely on axle stands. To drain the oil you will need a 12mm hex key as shown here. With the 12mm hex key, undo the sump plug and when finger loose, unscrew and remove to drain the old oil, making sure you have an appropriate container to catch the old oil. We will leave this to drain whilst we turn our attention to the oil filter. This is the oil filter cover. Held in place with three fastenings, two T30 torque screws and a 10mm bolt. Once removed, we can access the plastic oil filter housing. With the 27mm socket, we can undo and loosen the top of the filter housing, and then using a cloth to catch any drips, unscrew by hand the top of the housing and remove it and with it the oil filter. Here's the old oil filter shown next to the new one. With the new filter came a new seal for the housing. With an old screwdriver we pull off the old oil seal and fit the new seal in its place as shown. We then give it a good smear of oil to help lubricate and seal it once we've reassembled. The new filter simply pushes into place. We reinsert the filter and housing lid back into the housing and screw finger tight and then with the 27mm socket we tighten the housing to the 25 newton meters of torque as specified on the lid of the housing. Again we reinsert finger tight the sump plug and then tighten with our 12mm hex key. Our manual shows the engine and filter will require 3 litres of fresh oil and this oil will need to be at SAE 5W40 specification. We remove the filler cap and because of its location we may need to use a funnel. This is to avoid pouring oil all over the front of the engine. To begin with, we started by pouring 2.5 litres of fresh oil. It's likely there'll be some residual oil left in the engine. We then pull the dipstick and have a look. This flattened area on the dipstick shows the minimum and maximum markings, and the coating of oil shows the level in the engine. As you can see, the level is very close to the maximum. We wipe clean the dipstick and reinsert it into its tube. We then add a touch more oil and we recheck the level. As you can see, the level is very near the top now. Replace the dipstick. Then all that's left to do is remove the funnel. Place the oil filler cap and with our cloth just give everything a bit of a white clean. 